tonight. An exclusive interview with E-Town Get Down's worst fantasy player, Max the Animal. This is the last you'll see this one. Hopefully there won't be an 0-12 bag. We'll see. Nick Ercolano with the exclusive interview next. Looks like we're going to make it, everybody. Today, I'm honored, I'm privileged, and I'm embarrassed to sit down with no other than the man making the most noise on Twitter in this day and age. That is Mr. Animal of Big Dogs Gotta Eat, at Animal underscore BDGE, also known as Animals Crackers in the E-Town Get Down League, in which he is famously sporting the 0-11 record. The donut in front of the win column. It's not something you see every day. It's not something you see every year. It's maybe not something you see every decade. Animal, first and foremost, in these trying times, uh, how is the family, how is your mindset, how is your mental health COVID related? Don't worry about the 0-11, we'll get into that later. I mean, uh, how about like, um, welcome? I'm, I, like I said, I'm embarrassed to be here with you. <laughs> okay, I guess I don't deserve that. Um, I mean, everything's fine. Like, you'd be surprised by the fact that like, I'm, I'm, I'm cheerful, I'm happy. I'm in a good mental state, no COVID. I mean, I can't wish for anything more than a win. But, I mean, take what you get, that's it. Even though he's 0-11 in the E-Town Get Down League, Animal seems to be in good spirits. Hello. So, you, so you're in a little bit better of a shape than I'd imagine I would be. So it seems like maybe your expectations to start the year were not as high as mine would be. What were your expectations going into the year, and have you met them? Uh, well, <laughs> it's interesting. So everyone has expectations. Obviously, there's expectations for being competitive, and there's expectations for content. So, I think content expectations have been met. Performance expectations have not been met. I took Ronald Jones in the sixth round. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. Everyone's gonna give me shit, but they don't know anything. They're not the sharps. I'm the sharp, so. But here's the thing, it's an injury bug. Like, you know, we have injuries happening. That's you know, the thing. Michael Thomas, uh, Cortland Sutton, Marlon Mack. Marlon Mack is a huge, that's a huge injury bug. I don't want to get deterred Mar away fact, from, like, from the Marlon, point of the conversation. Okay? Marlon Mack is going to have over 20 and a half receptions. So you're year. disappointed from, from an expectation standpoint. You're sitting at 0-11. You're happy with the content itself, though. So let me ask you, sitting at 0-11, we're going into a very big game tonight. If Deontay Johnson throws up a 7.7 .7 burger, you're going to be going into an 0-12 realm. This is unprecedented in the E-Town Get Down. Now, because you have become such a fan favorite and there is so much buzz around this situation in itself, do you secretly want to lose? I mean, is it a secret? Because... Let me, let me ask the questions here. Here's what I'm gonna say. I wanna lose maybe tonight, but I need to get a win for pride, but it's gotta be the last week of the season. It's gotta be the last chance. It's gotta be that, that final movie moment where we're all sitting there and it's like, I need three points and there's 45 seconds left and I get it and we all go nuts. So, we so start screaming on the stream and everyone's going nuts and the chat goes wild and it crashes and then it's freeze frame. And then the credits roll. I'm just getting like two scoops on a chocolate Guatemala and this uh, chocolate. Thank you. Thank you. But all the Java Guatemala in the world can't save Max's season. So what's more important, the win or the content? So it seems like you're more content over uh, capitalism right now. You want the content to be premier for the time being. All the big dogs that are starving out there for you to lose, you want to feed them. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I think it's fair. I think it's it's safe to say that listen, I want that win, but I want that content win too. It's and, well said. And hey, snacks, cut that piece up. We're gonna put that on social. Ooh. It's just foreshadowing how tonight's gonna go. <laughs> Speaking of how tonight's gonna go, like I said, seven and a half is the poll for Deontay Johnson. He surpasses it. You go on twelve. Last time you played Baltimore. Last time you played play Baltimore, he put up a similar point total to your season win total. It was bordering on 1.1, something in that range. Well, it's nice for you to give me one win. They play, they play, 
Listen, you gotta take it where you can get it right now. Foreshadowing? No, that tooth hit on the glass was foreshadowing. Oh, I didn't like that. Deontay Johnson, bad game against Baltimore. Been fired straight out the dragon's mouth fire the last few weeks. I know all about it, 1.1 points. What are your expect? What do you think's happening tonight? Realistic, content aside, wins, losses aside, Deontay Johnson gonna show up and blow up or blow out? Have you ever seen uh, Big Daddy? Sure. I'm invisible. Answer the question, sir. <laughs> I'm invisible. These are my invisible glasses. Um, next question. So Deontay Johnson confirmed over eight points. It seems as though the stress of this fantasy season has taken its toll on a once vibrant and hopeful animal. If only the glasses could make his record invisible to the rest of the league. What do you say to those people, animal? You know, you're out in the real world, you can't wear those glasses around, right? You have to go to family gatherings, friendly gatherings, and the people that say, animal, you're on a fucking fantasy football podcast and you're running up donuts in the wing column left and right. Do you just sit there with a the pout face on? Do you combat them? Do you fight them? Do you take a bite out of them? What do you say to those people? Very troubling times for our friend Adam. Um, Prayers and thoughts. I, I don't talk to people. I, I, I communicate only through Twitter now. And, and you guys. Love that. When I say you guys, I'm speaking to you. The big dogs, I'm speaking to you. Snacks sitting behind the camera directing this entire piece. So the people that have, are, are cheering you on in a catch-22 sense have become your family online, your internet friends. I've told, I've warned people about getting into the internet game. Once you get in deep, they're the only people you converse with. That's it, man. Yeah. I can't count on anybody. I get made fun of. If I go to my real friends, it's like you said, like, hey, you're, they ask me for advice. And then I go like, are you really gonna take it? Like, you know what's going on. And they're like, no. So like, I can't, I can't waste my time with that when you know, I have my internet friends that they're happy for me, whether I'm losing or winning, which I'm, you know, I'm not. They're, they're voting for that win. They're, they're rooting for that win. Whether I'm winning or losing, yeah. They're, they're rooting for me. Spend a lot of time in the latter of that category. Let me ask you, though, it's before this gets too depressing. Who's you know, depressed? With an 0-12 season hanging over his head and depression setting in, can Animal take any positives away from this incredibly atrocious season? There are always lessons to be learned, right? So let me ask you, through this turbulent season, through this turbulent year, all things considered, what are some lessons learned in both fantasy and real life? I know you're gonna come out stronger on the other side of this animal, but tell me why. I have to think about this one. Okay, well, so it's actually, it's led me to different paths of for my future. So we have um, a fantasy lineup optimizer is in the works. I don't know who's making it, but someone is. And that's gonna be very helpful to me for next year. Also, big quarterback guy now. Definitely taking quarterback in the first round, maybe in the second round, because of super flex, I might go back to back or bike to bike quarterbacks. So lots of things are changing for the future. Listen, you know, I had like six running backs in the rounds, you know, like four through like eight. Otherwise known well, as the dead zone. Four through 12, four through eight, and four through 10. What would that be? However many be? rounds it was in between, you took one. Four through, yeah, back. I took a lot of running backs there. I'm not gonna do that anymore. Next year it's quarterback year. The year of the quarterback. The year of the quarterback. You heard it here first, you heard it here probably last, because we will not be sporting that Listen, strategy if next you, year. Uh, if you still follow us in the off season, I'll be preaching quarterback. It's the year of the quarterback. Like the, you know, like the Chinese calendar, it's like the year of the dragon, the year of the, the horse. The year of the animal, the year of the quarterback. This is the year of the quarterback next year. 2021, you're the quarterback. All right, animal, I have one final question for you. When you see this, what goes through your mind, body, and spirit? Right away, instant shame. First of all, shame. Then, you know, content. I'm gonna preach it. Like the fact that I'm in last place. I'm the loser of this league. 
and no one gives a crap about whoever the first place is. No one even knows who's in first place. No one knows who's in second place, who's in third or fourth, who's making the playoffs. No one cares. All everyone knows is that Animal is in last place. And also, that bag says 0 and 12. It is not, at this time, my destiny has not been sealed with the 0 and 12. Any press is good press, according to Animal. And I want to thank Sum you for up. your time. I want to... Uh, <laughs> listen, I think you're going to come out stronger on the other side of this, as they say. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Let's just hope Animal doesn't kill himself before the end of the season. Back to snacks in the studio. Three pop bowls in there. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Sure got ice cream. Oh god! Oh god! What's cracking, big? To the Fade the Public podcast. My name is Nicholas. That's Snacks. Not really sure what we, Where's should, Animal? what we should call you anymore. There's a person next to us that will be Owen. presenting. Owen. Wow. Owen. Wow. That's fucking phenomenal. Owen. Owen. This is Mr. Owen. First name Owen, last name 12. <laughs> Owen 12. Wow. We'll be guest hosting today. <laughs> Coming off a devastating loss. Yet we are again. filming this about 17 minutes after the Steelers just allowed, what, nine points to Deontay Johnson? It was a thriller. It was. Uh, it wasn't many, a thriller of a game, but. How many did he get exactly? What do we got here? What did you end up losing by? Are you not allowed to speak with the bag on? Is I that part really of it? I don't see much. You don't need to see to speak. He got well, 8.6. I was going to look at the actual points here. So I lost. Final score was 117.3 to 115.9. 1.4 differential. 1.4? Um, yeah, I mean, it's just another very close loss for me. It's just kind of been the theme the past couple of weeks. It's made for a riveting. Uh, George had two D Johnsons in his lineup and still beat you. Dude, Duke that's Johnson almost as, went that's off. really embarrassing. I'm wildly Duke, embarrassed for you. Duke Johnson went off. Yeah, Derek Carr had point six. Derek Carr had point six points. With Cleveland me. had zero. That's what happens when you play the Falcons defense. Like if Derek Tell you Carr what, we're like scores, not looking like a bad team right now. No, they're not. I was saying that when we were watching the game. You had Derrick Henry go for, for 37 and a half points, and you put up 115. Yeah, so it's funny because in another league that I'm in, I played against Derrick Henry, and I got absolutely <laughs> it's, destroyed. It's, it's funny. <laughs> because then I, you know, I have Derrick Henry, you'd think, like, 37 points, you're probably going to win. That's, like, the most asked nope. question. It's like, how does he have Derrick Henry on his team and still not come away with a win for the entirety of the year? Well, because guys like Derrick fucking Henry, uh, Derek Carr gets point six points. Cleveland defense... With zero points like that's... You should have played Mitch Trubisky. I should have. But yeah. who would have Should have done that? a lot of things. It doesn't fucking matter. I mean, who really thought that Cleveland defense would get zero points against the Mike Glennon-led Jaguars? Like, come on. You just love you're Darnell. Not, you're not going to tell me that you, you just You that. love Darnell Mooney, don't you? You refuse to yeah, take him out of your Yeah, why do you keep playing him? I feel like he's had one actual fantasy usable game. Well, and it was like the week you, you probably didn't play could easily put him. in Rojo there. Is Nick, that true? Did you sit him that one week? He had a big one? Darnell Mooney? Yeah. No, I think I started him. Okay. I was gonna, I'm looking at his points. He's had like two games over seven points. Maybe like seven and a half. So, but. well, with Mitch coming back, I I said, you know what? Darnell Mooney sees him to the moon. So you and you know what? Rojo's been a real piece of shit every time I start him. You thought Darnell Mooney going from one quarterback that can't throw to another one that throws worse was better than like a running back? It's actually hilarious. Ronald Jones' numbers, like last five weeks, fantasy points, four and a half, three, sit him, 24, play him. 2.4, sit him, 16.8. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's animal in a nutshell. It's wonderful. Okay. Also, so. I mean, he had Washington defense score 15 points. Like, things that just shouldn't happen. Uh, Cleveland, I, I still, I said it to you before, I think Cleveland's zero-point 
is worse than Derek Carr's point six. Yeah, like not even like the miles, not even like a, a little like sack against Jacksonville. Against Mike Lennon. Yeah. Another uh, another beautiful, brutal loss for Animal. 0-12, looking to solidify what's been the most historic season of all time in the town get down. It's a beautiful. We've never had an undefeated season, right? No. Well, here, I'm still calling my shot week 14. I don't know why you're doing that when your, better, your best chance is, is next week, this coming week. Yeah, you're going against Jason, who's got Godwin and Brady I don't know what, like, why you keep saying week 14. If you're going to win a game, it's this one. Joe's going to kill you. Do you want to go to my... You want to do your your recaps or you want to do my matchup? Not one? really. I played Jason or someone. Oh, I got to do mine. I lost. Yeah. I lost a heartbreaker yeah, a, too. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I won. I I locked up a playoff spot. I believe this week doesn't matter. Snacks. What happened? Yeah, I. You, we had a really tight tight game. Yeah. I was up. I was up like eight and change, and he had Benny Snell. I wound up losing by two point two. Uh, but what killed me really was was Carson Wentz's hail mary. Carson Wentz had like thirteen points, something like that, and then he throws that hail mary touchdown, kills me. Uh, DK Metcalf, actually, I, I was thinking before when I was looking at the matchup. During the game, DK dropped a touchdown from Russell. So that was that mm. that helped, too. Chitty. You know, so you're not math You lost. I did. John, <laughs> Jonathan Taylor getting COVID. You, la- you laughing under that bag? What a loser. Jonathan Taylor getting COVID kind of fucked guy's too. talking shit to me like I'm not making the Antonio. playoffs. People talking shit? You're Owen, look at you. Look at you, Owen. Look at you, Owen. You're not making the playoffs. Yes, I am. There's a path. I'm four and se- five and seven. And I have a pet. I got my hair like right in my face. Snack still believes. I mean, it's not. It's really not that crazy. No, it's not. I have to. I have to win. We'll talk about the matchups when we get there. But yeah, it's not that we're, crazy. We're there. That's better. But I am two point two points away from controlling my own destiny, which I'm upset about. But it just keeps me more interested. We're gonna make the playoffs. We're gonna make the playoffs. We're gonna do it. Scott, you could put Jim Fossil's. Uh, this team is going to the playoffs. Clip. Boom. Right there. Perfect. This is a poker game. I'm shoving my chips to the middle of the table. Really? You really think that? So we're all calling our shots. Animals calling a shot for a win. You're calling a shot for the playoffs. I'm calling my shot for the fucking chip. Week 14 against Joe. If you, right. This makes me, so, this this makes bag, me so annoyed. This bag is going on eBay tonight. When you're watching it, it'll be live later tonight. We had the I think first. we're going to go like 6.30 p.m. maybe. Why? Do, how can we agree? It's seven o'clock. We agreed PM. on seven p.m. Eastern time before the <laughs> I'm show. Sorry, it's seven thirty p.m. And then you said, and then you say six thirty for no first reason. First of all, I I can't even. I don't even know what you're doing under that bag. It's not like a comfortable thing to wear. Like whoever know. ends up, if the if the person who bought the first bag buys this bag, I'm assuming you're gonna want to buy all of them so you can maybe like put them in like a glass. The collector set. Like, Thing, they are signed too. You sign them. Yeah, after. I was signing at the end. I made a burner. I made I made a burner bid on the first one. You also, saw that. Also, I don't I don't know if you if you did, are gonna do it, but I want you to put the sticker in the store. We have a bag sticker for those that can't bid on the real bag. You can buy a sticker. Of the I'm gonna bag. make I'm gonna make the glory shirts too. Road to glory, where the O R is the O slash fourteen. I'm gonna throw them up in the store too. So these will this I mean, bag. I feel like you got to wait for me to go on fourteen for that to happen. Yeah, don't worry about it. These uh, this is what makes you good at business. You're good at projecting and planning for the future. So confident. It's not confident. It's just a fact. It's numbers, projections, you easy. Like, you like how I gave this bag a tooth? <laughs> you didn't notice that? I did. I just like when he brings it up right in the morning. Yeah. And I see his eye like in the corner <laughs> looking at me, freaking me out a little bit. I don't know which bag is. This might freak me out more than the plastic bag originally. Yeah, we didn't yeah. sell the plastic bag first, did we? Plastic bag was the first one, but that one wasn't for sale because... Liability issues. You also didn't think you were going to be going many more weeks with a plastic bag in your face. Well, I just, if I plastic bag eventually, I'm not going to poke holes in it. Or a paper bag, same thing. You were so confident. I'm not going on 14. Stop <laughs> looking at me, you fucking creep up. Don't look at me. Any uh, last questions before I take this off? Uh, what do you mean? This is like a very long intro. You realize that? Hold right? on, hold on. We're not done. We're not done. How was your Thanksgiving? We were, uh, we we're talking about that. Thanksgiving? Did we? It was, yeah, we like had our Thanksgiving together. I thought Thanksgiving was last week. It was. We like did it together. Our of Thanksgiving of. was here. Thanksgiving was phenomenal. Yeah, but like you had one here, then we went to Steve's. Yeah, I saw you Steve's guys. Steve's was a good time. Two, yeah. two nights in a row, which is way we more. We talked about this on the... Um, Don't tell us what we talked about it on. On the what? I don't know. I got an idea. Turn the bag around. I don't remember. Like flip it. <clears throat> no, no. Like 90, 180 degrees. Are we done here? No, I don't think so. There's a lot still to be talked about. There's something else I want to bring up in your matchup. 
What is that? I'm going to find it. I don't know. Yet. <laughs> Scott, hit the intro. Bag. All right, welcome back from the intro. It's exciting. We miss you. Exciting to not have a bag on my head. Where have you been? And you know, it's just really uncomfortable to try and talk with that because it moves constantly every time I move. So it's uncomfortable to talk with a paper bag. I and mean, then I get worried about the crinkling, <laughs> the crinkling into the microphone. Very conscious of that. So apologize. But let's uh, roll right Don't into. Don't apologize. Let's roll right into our mashups for next week because. This is why I don't have my bag on my head because it's a new week. We're, we're talking about a new week, and it's a chance for me to get a win. Yeah. It's, it's a chance your, for me to get I a win. I think it's your best chance, honestly. I mean, so here's the thing. We got Chris Godwin on by. We got Tom Brady on by. Who else would he possibly start here? Amari Cooper maybe fill in. Which is not great. I'm I mean. to pull this up. He puts Goff in for Brady. Landry had a big week last week. Tennessee defense has not been too great, so yeah, that could be Landry's, a good start Landry's for him. Landry's a good fill in for him. The only reason he started doing shitty is because the weather was terrible. Yeah, for he'll throw in Goff for Brady, who had throw a terrible week last week, so you know he's due he's now. He's due for a bounce maybe. Back, yeah. Goff's know. always like that. Bad right, game, so good game. Bad the game, more good we, game. we go through this, maybe it's not. Landry we, takes a wide receiver. Goff takes a quarterback role. He's going to have to flip out a defense, obviously. <clears throat> but, like, listen, I mean. Why? Listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> <laughs> not entertaining this right now. They're Aaron good Jones. Defense. Aaron Jones. We can also give him like a minute after this too to discuss his Giants feelings. True. If you want to start of course mentally getting Aaron ready. Jones really uh I tell you what. Jamal Williams getting a lot of burn. If if He's Aaron Jones dependent listen, now. if Aaron Jones didn't have that forty three point game in week two, we'd be looking at it's him a lot great. different. Yeah. He's a little touchdown dependent right now. Which is crazy because that's how it was last year. It just took him a little while to get there, so people looked at him a little differently. Now, do you think this is partially due to the fact that he was a little banged up? Maybe they just don't want to overwork him because they know they're a playoff team? No. Can Jamal Williams is serviceable? Or I think, think Jamal Williams like, is just Dude, Jamal good. Williams is a good ball player. I think he's just good, yeah. I think he, just, it was good last year. Yeah, but do you th- so you think there's so going to be If you look at the touches, no, like the, RBBC? the first game he came back, remember when it was like primetime game and every, everyone was like, Iron Jones might be limited, and then he gets like 20 fucking five yeah. touches or whatever. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they haven't, yeah, like if you look at the touch counts, they're not much different than they were in the beginning of the well, year. He's getting his like 12 to 14, right? The carries. It was and the then... same shit. It was just the one game he had 168 rushing yards. Every other game, even those big blow up games, 66 yards on the ground, 69 yards on the ground, 71. Um, you know, 58, 46, 40. like he just hasn't been getting a lot of work on the ground or doing. He had a lot this week against Chicago. He had 17, which was his, 17 uh, carries, 90 yards. It was a good second game. Second for the season, he had 18 in week two. Yeah, the receiving game just hasn't been crazy, crazy high for him. So, I mean, Aaron Jones obviously still an RB one, but like after the first him, month of the season, you're like, oh shit, like this dude might actually compete for. I'll tell you what, RB one overall. Maybe you're dem- maybe, yeah, I will. I, I really like his match. week 16 matchup against Tennessee. Tennessee's just going to be in those fucking those brawling games now. I mean, dude, after Philadelphia, Detroit, Carolina, Tennessee, like well, he, yeah. he could be the number one. He like could be week, a league winner. Oh, week, that's week what I want 16. to do. That's what I want to do for next week's episode. League Remember league we winners? called our shots, like the league yeah. winner and call our shot guys. Yeah, yeah. Before uh, week fourteen kicks see? off. See, it'll always come to you. You circle back somehow. Circle bike. Well, we got to bounce ideas. I think that's re- le- like legit because I'm doing the rest of the season running back rankings video tomorrow, and I was looking at Aaron Jones, and I was like, yo, he's going to win leagues. We yeah, like him, Derrick Henry. Him, Derrick Henry have just ridiculous schedules for the yeah. playoffs. Yeah, so Aaron Jones. I, mean, <laughs> I can't wait for Derrick Henry to <laughs> go nuts. You could, you, yeah, he's going to These next couple weeks, I'm still going to lose every you're gonna, game. You're, you're like E-Town team is going to beat every team in weeks. Like in like 15, the playoffs, yeah. yeah. Watch. Like can, I, can I – Is are you troubled by this, or is it is it just me? What? All of your games are at 1 o'clock. Dude, I don't care about anything anymore. Like, first all of all, of that's not Every the official one. That's not my official lineup. Okay, well, well, what do you? But what even you if you swap out Carr, both your quarterbacks are at one. Yeah, I'm gonna try and make a wa- a, a roster move. I'm thinking about starting Trubisky over. Oh, I can't start him over Cousins of Jacksonville. Oh my god. You Maybe want, I should. You want to play Carr against the Jets? Let's. Can we talk about this for one second? My quarterback. How would you steal your wide receivers? Like, do you not go to the waiver wire ever? There's nobody, Nick. We have look at our our bench spots. Look at like who Joe has on his bench. Like like look who everyone has on their bench. They're all guys. Like, that I would play like wire. Gabriel Davis over. Uh, I guess San Fran maybe not. Um. Yeah, yeah. You might, the waiver wire is you so might just thin. Be right there, but yeah, but like, I have like, throughout the year. I, I have like Rashad like. Perriman, like who would be on the waiver wire most leagues probably. Yeah. You want Will Fuller? I'll give him to you. Shout out Will Fuller, man. For real, goat. Shout out. I love what he did for me for this first twelve weeks. Yeah. Like, can't ask for anything more. Just, no. Just stud. 
go out with a bang. It's like, funny though, he's a he's a free agent, and now everybody knows why he didn't get hurt this year, and yeah. he's not going to be on it next year. So, whoever I signs love that, Will Fuller, uh, he's getting hurt. Brian Cushion was uh, trending. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. After as soon uh, as like <laughs> yeah. him and uh, Roby both got the assistant uh, strength and conditioning. Yeah, he's yeah. assistant strength. They're just like he was trending. I was like figures. I love that. Like, he's also the go. I love when they're just like oh, local a, product. A, a huge doctor, Cushion uh, fan. A, the doctor just gave me things that he didn't. That we didn't know were off the band mm-hmm. list. Like, yo, you're a motherfucking like it's my doctor. Fault to, like, not check. You're a doctor that specializes with NFL players, and you don't know the band list substances. Moronic. Like, ridiculous. Why even say that? Just well, be like, I fucked up. That's why I wish people would just be like, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Like, like I'm an I, asshole. I fucked up. Like, I'm trying to stay on the fucking field. Yeah. Not get hurt. Unbelievable. Yeah, that'll never happen. Yeah. Now I'm like, I, I'm, I'm curious though. Where does this? So it's six games. They have five games left for regular season. Does that carry into next year? One game, right? This is the first game. If they were to make the play, I know it's not going to happen, but if they were... No, I think it's... It's just regular oh, season actually, games, right? that's a good question. I don't know. I think it's... So that makes it interesting because, well, first of all, Will Fuller is a free agent. He is. So if he stays in Houston, like, he's obviously an enviable fucking dude to draft next year, but if he's out for the first game, like, where say all things equal, Houston stays the same, Watson, whatever, Fuller's still there, right? I think they, by the way, I just think they have no chance to re-sign Fuller. Yeah, but let's just say, let's okay, just say yeah. they do. For right? the sake let's of argument. Let's say they do. Where is he going to go in fantasy dress? Too high is probably just the answer, right? Yes. Like, he'll probably be like a third round pick next I think year. Will, like, a lot of it will God. depend on the team where he lands. I'm, I'm, he's saying if he's, in, if he's in Houston. If, we say, if he stays in Houston. Stays in Houston. Everything stays uh, miss, the same. I missed that part. We, we, we see that. I was waiting for him to say, like, there's no chance they re-sign. And I was going to be like, you also missed that part. No, I heard, <laughs> it, I heard him say that's probably where I clicked in. I mean, third rounds, third, fourth round, yeah, but that's too rich for my blood. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna do it because you know he's also gonna be like a target for the testing injury, again. The like injury gonna, risk is just like way too. The NFL is biased high. like that; they will like test the same guys over and over again. They don't care. Well, I'm not worried about and that. And they're like, oh, it was random. I don't think he's gonna be stupid enough to do it. So again. next year, Will Fuller, or Tyler Lockett, man, straight up Lockett. Damn, like Will maybe Fuller's not. Gonna I think like, all things equal, I would take Fuller. Maybe not more yeah. targets. DK is say. ridiculous. Lockett's just wildly. Yeah, but by the time next year rolls around, DK is just gonna be so prime. Will Fuller's the alpha in Houston, so yeah. To pivot a little bit. Not really a little bit, but... Fuller's definitely going to sound with Green Bay, by the way. DK Metcalf or A.J. Brown, Dynasty wide receiver one. DK. DK. Yeah, still? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Do you I guys have changed since I moved in there that one week? I don't know why, but I think... Like, I love. I just love A.J. Brown. I think he can do more, like, with... I agree. I, if you're telling me... If, you're, if you put... Like, if, singular talent? If you put talent, A.J. Brown into DK Metcalf's position, I would take yeah, A.J. Brown Yeah, you're taking mainly because of Russ? Yeah, 100 Yeah, of course. Like, look... Just look how good he's been and look how... Like, Russ looks at him on like every AJ Brown play. was hurt this year a little bit, and like sure, he, he, they stopped letting dude, that, that Russ cook. Outside of that line. one yeah. game where he dropped that 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 touchdown against pass. Indy last time, yeah, I remember. Yeah, that. Like, yeah, he's been fucking amazing, dude. I mean, we're arguing he's like monster. wide receiver one and two in dynasty, so they're both fucking amazing. I just like yeah, I DK's. I just you're not going to get a better position than what DK's in right now. People, I think it's arguable. I think it I is too. I wouldn't blame anybody for going like I just want AJ Brown on my team because I think he's fucking amazing. I'm, I'd be like, yeah, that's fine, but like I'll, I think DK. There's just going to be so many floor games from A.J. Brown. There's yeah, going to be a lot you know of those like happened? five for 45 games, and D.K.'s just not going to do that. A.J. Brown had that amazing game on Sunday. And everybody... And like, Yo, the, yeah. A.J. Brown dies to I receive one. And then, like, Monday night, D.K. Go has, like, 170 yards. Like, oh, shit, D.K. Yeah. Like, they're both... They both I forgot about, about him. <laughs> both of their ceilings are crazy. But, like, on a on a week-to-week thing, like, D.K.'s floor is pretty fucking high, you know? And I think that's, yeah. he's only going to... I mean, both of them are only going to continue getting better, but... I, what, who, which receivers were drafted in front of them? Nikhil Harry. Nikhil Harry was different, the one. Was AJ, the one before AJ Brown. AJ Brown different draft. AJ Brown. No, no, no they were the same. same AJ Brown. Really? It was when we were in Nashville. I remember because we were going nuts when we were excited when AJ Brown got picked. Or yeah, no, yeah we were excited when AJ Brown got picked. Debo. Did Debo go before Brown? It was Hollywood. Hollywood was twenty fifth. Oh, gross. Nikhil Harry thirty second. Debo was the fourth pick of the second. Wow. And then it dropped down to AJ Brown like fifteen picks later. And then DK was the mm-hmm. last of the second. Nicole right? Hardman, Jaws, Paris. <laughs> Uh, Paris Campbell, Andy Isabella, DK Metcalf. That is unbelievable. Dude, and then Andy Deontay Isabella Johnson. went before DK Metcalf. Terry McLaurin. That's wild. Jay Jaw went before DK Metcalf. That's like what a good wide receiver class, though. Not like it's pretty it, good. It's egregious, yes, but like not for the time because the way you know scouts. Suck. I don't know how good it is. Brown. I'm just from a high I mean, end. We love AJ Brown. Yeah, dude. I mean, like this, this we just hate class. when he Debo, went to Debo, AJ Brown. Debo, yeah. Debo, AJ Brown. I think Paris Campbell would have had a monster year. DK Metcalf, Deontay Johnson. Yeah, Paris Campbell dude, is good is, for his limited. Terry McLaurin. Snaps. Dude, this is a very good. Oh, year. Terry was last. Yeah, I forgot about Terry year. went. Terry went. Even they're even padded with like solid players like Dar- uh, Darius Slayton down in like the fifth round. Yeah. It's obviously not like little Jordan Humphrey too. Yeah, really excited about that. Little Jordan. 
Jawan. There's Jawan. Shout Winfrey. out to the shout out to the Eagles. Jawan Winfrey, former or possibly still a Denver Bronco. I'm not even sure if he's on. He, he was playing quarterback for you guys last week. Was no, no, no. That's Kendall Hinton. No. So the, the respect, e- by the way, to Kendall Hinton. The Eagles really. draft Jay Jaw in front of Metcalf the year before, and then they draft Rager in front of Justin Jefferson. Yeah, Rager. How about that bust, huh? We'll see. No, I'm not, I'm not riding him off. I'm just saying Justin Jefferson looks. Actually, he was probably going to be better. really oh, good. So good. Rager. Rager's going to be really good when he gets out of Philly. I don't know what you're getting. I don't know the intent behind what you're doing right now, and it's making me feel weird. Yeah, what are you trying to say? I just said it. That was that was it. I said it. I said Rager's going to be very Philly good. Philly is a dumpster fire. Yeah, I like that offense is just disgusting. What they're doing to Miles Sanders too is it makes me so grotesque. sad. I, I don't would, like Miles Sanders in Dynasty. I just don't like him. How? Why? He's Cause, not the guy. Because when you watch him, you're like, damn. Like Dude, what? What could have been? Miles night, Sanders. They have to give him the ball more. Bust. Yeah. Not like I can't. I, mean, I can't. I can't just sit here and be like, he's so talented. He's just not getting it done. Fantasy. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, bust for sure. It happens. It's fucking stinks. It's a cesspool in that scumbag city. Overrated cheesesteaks. Statues of fictional, fucking movie characters. My problem Statues was my problem was in the offseason. quarterback in the offseason. Yeah. As soon as like city. all their offensive linemen getting hurt, because that started happening in like August, I should have started pivoting away from there and just known it would have been a fuck fest. Yeah, we we had a nice discussion about that when what's his name went down. Dude, are they gonna fire Doug Peterson and like have that statue there forever? The statue's not going anywhere. I mean, they can move them. That's insane, actually. That they built that statue. Yeah, it's pathetic. That was that was very premature. I don't even know if Doug. If the, I you think, don't build statues till years later. I think yeah, Doug Peterson. Right, even, yeah, they did it the year after. That's ridiculous. It's, it's thinking insane. about that, how fucking dumb that is. I never really like. You could do that for like that. Bill Belichick, and then like there would still be people that would be like, "Fuck this statue." If, yeah. if Bill has a bad year this year, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. For like Doug Peterson to have his fucking statue, yeah. Yep. With Nick with, Foles with a backup quarterback who left the year after. Isn't it like say? Isn't it like like hey like let's call Philly Philly like on the plaque or something? Probably yeah. That's what happens when you're such a pathetic. Wow, it's just roast scene. Philly. I don't even like. I'm not even like snacks a big like, Philly mind, hater. Snacks, snacks mind fucks us into doing this segment somehow. I was just <laughs> say, should good. we like? Kind I of also. Like, I oh, last thing. I think you're Doug, I Giants firing, firing. Doug, well, in a second, firing Doug Peterson. Floor is yours. I think he's coaching to lose his job. He is awful. Do you think he's gonna go to the Jets? I hope so. Because just do you want to call our shots right now, real quick? Doug Peterson to the Jets. Team back up with um, Joe Douglas. Right. Joe Douglas. Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence. Mm. Come on. Perfect way to ruin him. Nice. Come on. I don't care. All right. It's nice. Take it away. <laughs> Take we, it away with your – how do you feel about the Giants? Just give us a little, like – First place. It's like, pretty wild, isn't it? Give us some of the emotions. It's fun. It's I'm out of control. You. It's out of control. I have been – I have been pounding on the table that this is going to happen, though. I kept saying division's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. And, boy, is it fucking atrocious. But I feel great. Blacking out every Sunday. No, we know. Waking up, having to apologize to everybody in my contacts. <laughs> he was giving Steve. Uh, oh, yeah, went after Magnani. After we, like, just like. Stevie One Chain. Gave up on him and transitioned away from it all. He, like, went right after Stevie One Chain. Like, <laughs> in what? In text and everything. Uh. Like, just, like, <laughs> doing what he would do to us. Or yeah, to me. I, 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 I went hard after Larry. <laughs> I, evi- oh, yeah. I eviscerated Larry. Wait, was this in the group me? No, no, no. No, it's uh, on Sunday, like in private text messages. Uh, <laughs> he's a maniac. Psycho. Yeah, I know. He's a maniac. Well, Steve, I have good reason for Steve. You we, guys, I really yeah, don't have for, a reason for the for. group For the group me, for Go Fade Me, you're gone until know, the 2021, 2021 or the Giants, or the Giants are still eliminated. still not in the chat? No. Uh, I talked to everybody on the side, though. I know okay. what's going on. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> guys, I, trust me. You know what? Wait, I'm, wait, I'm we got some moles in the fucking Yeah, there's moles. You can probably guess who they are. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, of course I know who the fuck they are. It's not Scott. I can talk Scott. Scott, It's obviously Yannick. Well. What? It's obviously Yannick, always, and I would say George, too. Always Uncle Yannick, but I don't know well, if I would... Well, I have to talk to George because we, you know, we collaborate. I'm not sure how yeah, that reliable Yannick's information is. So I don't know if I would trust everything Yannick tells you. I literally just told you what my BAM was. But how do you know it came from Yannick? Because Yannick's definitely an inside source for you. It's Uncle Yannick. Yannick was the one who asked when you're coming back. Yeah, you know he's, he's like... He cares. You know, also, like, you could literally just ask anyone like, dude, in there. dude, I'm waiting no for you in the chat. <laughs> I didn't tell... It wasn't... Yeah. It wasn't, trying it wasn't so like hard. I told them not to tell you. It didn't matter. Like, you didn't need a story. You could ask Richie. And you'd be yeah. like, yeah, I think Nick said something about like 2024 or something. And Richie would... Richie would con- Richie, I would ask Richie on a private text and I would say, Rich, hey, what's going on in group me? And he would literally write back, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I see that going. Goat. Uh, anyway, though, I'm very excited about the Giants. It's going to be a fun uh-huh. last five weeks. Nobody deserves to be in the playoffs, that's for sure. But Giants playing the best ball. I'm very upset Daniel's hurt. Hopefully it's just a game. So we'll see. All right. It's fun. Let's, let's talk week 13. 
Let's do it. Yeah, so I'm playing against Joe. Uh, he's pretty much out, he's out of the playoffs. I'm, you know, what? I, I was telling you downstairs since I'm sitting here at ten and two, and we still have two more weeks until the playoffs. You're just waiting. I'm like, this sucks. You're waiting. Yeah, because like wins, I have no ceiling here. Wins don't get me anything. But but I will say one thing: your team has not. Well, I, you scored one fifty two weeks ago. I have a question. But like one hundred five three weeks. Three weeks ago, one twenty nine. So it's not like you know. Yeah. You just get Eckler back. Let him get acclimated. Also, the last he is very the last month the of the way. season. The reason we've been dipping down too is one because obviously we don't have an Eckler. But Tannehill's had the toughest slate of of yeah, matchups for quarterbacks. Up. Cam's been fucking brutal too. He has been bad. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not worried about my team whatsoever. Just sitting here for two weeks and not and and their performance is not mattering. Like someone's gonna get hurt in that time span. We got Will Fuller out. Obviously, There'll be a couple. COVIDs. Another like COVID. Yeah. So I'm just sitting here with my fucking hands on my dick, and I don't. It's it's it stinks. It stinks. So it is what it is. I don't care about my matchup this week. Uh, I don't care about nothing, man. I have a uh, a question. I do want to win most also, points in the regular season. Though would have been that's that would be three years running. Hand on your dick would be a good like transition to do a manscaped ad. It would. It would. Um, I don't here's, know. We don't have one planned, but no, we don't. I don't know where my lawnmower is. I don't know where any oh, equipment shit. is. I forgot to bring one. Oh, you did. You needed to charge it. He needed to charge. This is how much he loves his manscaped shit. Mm-hmm. He lost his charger in New Jersey. He was like, he literally texted me. I'll send the screenshots to to Scott to put it on. So like, can I bring my manscaped, my lawnmower, to you to charge it so that I could use it this weekend? Yeah. One, three questions. Maybe four. What are you using it for? Ooh. Good question. Manscaped. For what? To shave my balls. For what? So everything looks bigger. <laughs> for who? <laughs> Self-confidence. Oh, well, that. clearly sending dick pics to... Uncle another Don. perk. Another perk of the Lawnmower 3.0. Shave your balls. You look bigger. Yes. Yeah. Big confidence send booster. dick pics to your uncle... To Uncle Jan. Uncle Jan. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, gotta look bigger. That, we go back and forth. Yeah, time. I know. You, it's a competition. Yeah. Me and Yannick have that relationship. Manscaped. Dot com, they got little packages. I'm fucking dying without it. If you want, yeah. If you, dude, mine have, wouldn't stop. Mine, uh, you so, have to wait a week now. If your buzzer ever just I, keep going, like, yeah, it, that's it. Pretty, it spazzed out. It was in the charger, yeah, and I just kept hearing it go on. It and I was died. like, I'll be doing work, and then it just turns on. I'm like, yo, this is it's getting kind of like, dude, get, I'm getting kind of creepy. It's like, uh, so use I, don't, I, I have a question. Let me. Why show don't you your have balls? one? I like to have like a natural look. You know what we're gonna do? Someone's gonna buy animal the lawnmower package for Christmas. Okay. And when you do it, you're going to use the promo code BDGE. It's going to get you free shipping to Animal's House. It's going to get you 20% off your order. It's going to be a nice Christmas gift. At least if he's going to look like a piece of shit, we could shape him up a little bit, all right? It's going to get shipped to Animal's House, and you get to be on Animal, on Animal's House. Cause you, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll let you like submit a little user video of you buying it and a little thank you and, and all that kind of shit, and Animal will have post more confidence. On, post on the screen. It can't be Yannick or Vatch, though. No, it's got to be someone in the audience that's not... Yannick personally Vetch. involved with yeah. you. <laughs> okay, fair. All right, manscaped.com. Promo code BDGE. 20% off. Free shipping. Check it out. Check your balls out. Check Love out whatever balls. the fuck Animal's about to say. You have a matchup still? Yeah. You're like not even relevant anymore. Like. How does I? It's just not true. Run it. Run it. Run it. Nah, I'm good. I'm I actually kidding. had a question. You can go to your shitty poem. I kind of so. had a question actually for Nick. What's up, baby girl? So are you like, you know, obviously first place, whatever. Are you more like paying attention at all to the teams no. that are going to come in third, fourth, like who you might play? I'm 100% transparency. I have not looked at anything besides my team. Can you, I don't care who I'm. Because it's very I, tight right I, now. And the reason I say that is I genuinely think I have the best team. You yes. guys might not no, agree. I think I, I do, do, and I don't care. I, I also be, think all the teams suck. That might yeah. be fair yours, to yours say, the best but in fantasy, it's any given week. Sure. You know? And also, we're too far out for that. I'm not like, wait, yeah. I don't want to waste Hold my time. Maybe like week 14, I'll start looking. I quickly, I wanted to hear your thoughts on my matchup. I don't care. Like you're what out. What do you mean you don't care? We you're we not, spend time. He's on not your, out. If he you wins, don't control Steve your loses, I, 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 like literally, I need one thing. I need two things to happen. It's not that crazy. It's a little crazy. Okay. The second place team is is that's it, right? Steve. You you win this week. One change loses, and then you guys and then, play in week fourteen. And then whoever in. wins is in. That's a great fucking storyline. Yeah, it is. We're gonna and, need, oh, we're gonna need really Steve here for week fourteen. Yeah. Uh, so you dumb motherfucker, look at my matchup. All right, I'm looking. Uh, Wayne Gallman, I like. He's been very hot lately. Yeah, he scores touchdowns. Taysom Hill against Atlanta could be good, except the uh, well, he's good for a touchdown no matter what. Love that. Uh, Marvin Tennessee. Jones going to you neutralize should, your you Stafford should. on the other side there. This looks good for you. It does. I think Kyler's a little banged up. I don't think Kenny Galladay plays this week. Jonathan Taylor probably doesn't play, DJ, right? Jake Jacobs may not play. Half his fucking lineup is questionable. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't see any way. I like I, Russell. I need. I mean, like this, is, this sucks for me because I need Russell to put up points. But you know what you got to worry about? Alvin Kamara putting up a gooser. 
Yeah. Yeah, I also think Nick Chubb might go for 30 against Tennessee. Yeah, so. Chubb's Yeah, well, go. I thought he was going to go for 30 against Jacksonville. What's Calvin Ridley's status? He, like, kind of injured the ankle but went back in. I think he should be fine, He's just right? going to play, yeah. Is Julio going to play? Probably score 12 points. I don't know. He's fine. questionable. Game time decision. If the Colts did what they did against Green Bay and give Jonathan Taylor the ball 26 times again, he's got a very favorable matchup against Houston. He could finally break one. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that matchup for you. And my favorite matchup, Miami at home against Cincinnati. <laughs> my defense. That's pretty Which beautiful. could theoretically get me like 15 points. You've been rocking Miami most of the year? The last like four or five weeks. Yeah, they've been it's pretty good solid. Team. Good defense. Oh, Cleveland's pretty solid. Cleveland's good. You might, can I, I'll trade you Will Fuller for Cleveland. But wait, Honestly. wait, wait. Just a quick two-minute on Steve's matchup because that's the other one that's relevant. Even sure. He's not. Steve, won champions on the show last Sure, week. why not? Let's just do Him another Shane, matchup. Right? Steve. I already looked at it. I think I think Steve's going to win. So that what you don't need. Right. How do you think Correct. Steve's going to win? Actually, I mean, well, Kyrie? let's see. Let's see. Sterling Shepard, no, not with Colt McCoy if he doesn't change that. Most is Bradbury going to shut down Metcalf? Dude, I Mac, don't think anybody can Metcalf, shut Metcalf, Tyreek Hill, Justin Jefferson, Giants, Denver, Jacksonville. Yeah. I don't know don't, about that. Don't sniff on the Giants. They, the defense I know, is but very it's DK good. fucking Brad, Metcalf. I understand. Bradbury also, has shut everybody down. Also, Broncos' uh, revenge game against the NFL this week. Okay. Steve also has like Sterling Shepard and... Michael Pittman in Zeke's the starting going lineup. against Baltimore. I think I think Baltimore, Baltimore. can neutralize. Yeah. yeah, fuck that. Lamar Jackson back. Most of might be uh, most of England. Most of splitting carries. Lamar Jackson though, he's gonna revenge game against the NFL. I wonder Come what on. he does with J.K. Dobbins, because Dobbins was running hot before the COVID happened. Now oh, you think shit. you think he just kind of gets put back into the committee again? I feel like he yeah. didn't ride that mojo. That sucks. Who's he gonna put him in over? Yeah, I was just gonna say I'm not gonna start him over like. Harris, you could do it over Pittman. I guess maybe not against. I Houston. wouldn't I against Houston, would. yeah. yeah. Especially after Pittman. But had against like a Dallas, bad week. his defense is terrible. Yeah. But yeah, if this was last week, he didn't catch COVID and he would have ran through this fucking team. But I mean, you got to figure Shane race. puts in Cooper Cup for for Gurley, right? Probably. I, I mean, I hope so. Really you can't, also, you can't run against him. What about else. Acres at Arizona? No, you can't trust Acres. Why not? He finally got the workload. He had eight touches. That's all you need. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> for your team, yeah, that's all you need. In actuality. There is a chance that next week, me and Steve are playing for I, if, a playoff. Yeah, right? if I was a betting man, which I'm not because I don't gamble, only on animals' life, I would say that Shane wins, you win, and then you guys play in Week 14. Be pretty epic. That'd be sick. Would be sick. Animal, tell us about how you're going to lose your 13th game. I wrote a poem. You actually, I've never seen a person actually look dead while being alive, but I'm, you are are, dude, feet, are like, doing that feat. You're de- you're dead inside. My soul has been taken from me. My fantasy soul. This is a, a handmade I don't poem. Wanna, I don't want to hear this, so I'm going to... Gotcha. Love that. A handmade poem I wrote about... I don't want to look at you. Michael Thomas. About Michael Thomas? About Michael Thomas. This is a schmear campaign? It's just I have some... Is this an evisceration? No, it's a message. It's a beautiful poem. You're going to weep. <clears throat> I've lost interest. It's okay. called A Note to Michael. I can't believe what you've done to me. Is this what you wanted to see? I never even wanted you. You fell to me. I fell for you. I can't believe that wasn't, I fell, you fell to me in round two. Oh, you, you already Sorry, sorry go. That, this, that, it was a good start, good start. I fell for you, go. Interrupt me during my poem. We can't handle the pressure. You fell to me, I fell for you. Thought you were the real deal. Do you know the pain I feel? It's all the way up to here. Filled. (laughs) Killed. My dream. It's dead this year. The woods, I hear. I fear. I tear. (laughs) Yeah, that last part. I hate those terrible moments. all Can we sign you up for open mic? It's all part of the please? performance. I don't like. I don't like where BDG is going, Nick. Yeah, we've gotten real depressing. Depressing. I mean, dude, you're glorifying season, losing. This is not. This, the seasonal depression is real this here. It's not good. That's what happens. Summer is a fun, vibey content. I kind guess. Of shit. I guess there's a virus going around that's really killing everybody's mood too. But I don't. I don't know if I like it. We should be. You know, you're you're sitting in top first place. We don't even talk about it. The storyline is just. The storyline is just too fucking. It good. is phenomenal. The Patriots win the Super Bowl, and we got to talk hope about Bill Kraft getting hand jobs and shit. Kinda, I, I hope it's own 14, and we go into next season. Well, technically, you won't be able. Your replacement will start losing like the first three games, and it's just all over again. How long do you think his streak goes on for? 
I Honestly, know. I say he loses the first four weeks. I say he loses year. the first two. All right. I'll go 16 games. He goes. That's tied for the NFL history of biggest losing streak. Wow. It would be cool if we could get it onto like a sports book. We would like literally need to own our own sports <laughs> no, book. No, just get like a, an affiliate. Yeah. Like they have like a, the, the animal special. Because like. they'd be so intrigued by the 32, 18 year olds <laughs> that can't even bet <laughs> legally <laughs> on your fucking line. Get like a bet on whether I'm gonna get my first win. Do you know last year too? Last year too, you were second to last in points scored, and this year you're dead last. Whatever. Yeah. Well, you know that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Like what? What do you want me to say? <laughs> I just want you to know. Wait, it was last year. Just when, so you know, when you missed because George, like the 85 point thing, or was no, that the I year just before? Lost in the playoffs last year. Uh, you're just out of control. <clears throat> the year before that was the. Yeah, the epic collapse in weeks. Yeah, and then my team won out, would have won. I put up more points than everybody every week. Away she goes. That's it. I lost. That's actually amazing when you really think about that. The fact that I lost You're like with his, an 80-point cushion, yeah. and then I won out, like, but I didn't win. Wow. Talk about luck. You have none of it. You got to feel better. I lost You know, I lost a tight one this week. Makes you feel better. A little bit. Does. Yeah, you definitely were super pumped about that. Yeah, he was. So, you know, and your true enemies and friends are. Yep. That's when you know you're also dead inside. When you need to root for other people's failures. I, like, kind of want him to win so, like, it's not just like this all the time. Though. This is bad. Because I can't feed. I like. I, you feed off our energy, and yeah. this is just not I reciprocate it. energy is what I do. So, when it's low, I'm low. I'm not a but high But is he even going to be happy if he wins? Like, No, probably not. We do. Week 14 is the, is the live Stop. stream win. All right. An epic. It's just going to be the opposite of what we've been seeing. Like the, the really close losses. Now I wish I got ice cream. Win. I want like depression ice cream after watching you for the last 40 minutes. The ice cream was a pick-me-up for sure. It didn't seem Definitely like that. But you're back down You look now. like you just smoked the heroin. Well, the problem is I did eat the ice cream and then immediately put a bag on my head Heart after. Crash. So. You should have put the ice cream in the bag. I didn't want to way, ruin the product. Well, then through the like throughout the episode, you could have just stuck your tongue out and got a little licky-licky. Oh! Throw me a, throw me a fucking OBJ. Bike shoulder. That's a Jarvis Landry, not an OBJ. Give me something. <laughs> are you my god? <laughs> you guys are. It does here. die. It dies, man. It dies. Whatever. Nothing in it. Whatever. Looks like Carson Wentz's deep ball. <laughs> ho! Like the hail mary that made you lose. Oh. Oh. One, Even that was a shit ball. One more for the for the boys out in Philly. Ooh. That's all we got for today. Hell of a fucking bad tonight. beat too. Whoever had just yeah, so many bad. Oh, minus six away, like this was just like the week of bad beats. It was. This is just the week of bad beats. That Ravens game was just a bad beat. Except for me, I just stay winning. Yeah, that Ravens game was a terrible beat. Crazy. It's all the bad beats. Animal just keeps taking bad beats. It's like a shit rapper. We're out. I love you. Hit thumbs up. Scott, you're fired. Rehired, Scott.